Vault Opening Welcome to the Vault <laughs> Hello What is up you dazzling diamonds and the others Welcome back to my channel <laughs> My name is Linda Kyle and this is the Vault Anyway you guys, let's jump straight into today's video Alrighty then you guys, um, in today's video we are going to be talking about the shade that Mishali is apparently allegedly throwing at Bonang Mateba, right? I saw yesterday that Mishali Damasi posted a picture of Bonang Mateba, a picture that people on the internet would classify as just not appealing, not nice, just a yucky picture, right? Took a look at the picture myself, and I must say, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that picture. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but me, for me personally, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the picture and the woman Bonang Mateba in that picture, right? Now, a lot of people on the internet are saying that Mishalin Damase was throwing shade at Bonang Mateba by posting that picture. First things first, I don't know when that picture was taken. Right? That's one. Two is the fact that that picture is really not that bad. And people um, blew it out of proportion because Bonang Mateba is known to post really clear, really crisp, really um, beautiful pictures, right? But from the beginning of this channel, I have been saying that everything on social media is fake. You cannot just blow with the wind and believe everything that you see. You understand what I mean? With all these editing apps and so on and so forth, I don't blame people for using the, ad the editing apps. At the end of the day, that's why those apps were created for you to edit your pictures. So if you if you guys can, oh well, not my Instagram now, but like my Instagram before, you would see so many pictures that I've edited. I've put different backgrounds. It's just a whole freaking production type of situation, All right? Honestly, I don't know what Mithali's end goal was to post this so-called, now that people are calling it out, unflattering picture of Bonang was. There's two theories for me that I see. It's that Mithali Ndamase is trying to throw shade to Bonang Mateba or they are in cahoots. Like, girl, post this nasty picture of me and let's trend together because let's face it. It's not just Mithali that's trending in the situation. It's Bonang Mateba too. Right? The picture that Mikali posted of Bonang well, Mateba was not bad. How many pictures of like you guys out there have you taken? And they, they look horrible, according to you. I did a video last year and I said, you will never be beautiful. You will never be beautiful according to society's standards. That's a fact. We'll talk no lies. Right? That picture wasn't bad. Bonang Mateba is 33 years old. And Mishalin Damasi posted a picture of her that was not edited. And honestly, this is not bad. This is really not bad. We all edit our pictures. We really, really freaking do. If this is a 100% and 10, 110% picture of Bonang Mateba looking natural, this is not bad at all. It's not. So I really don't understand why people are coming for her. I understand why people like Slick Talk would come for Banang at this point because Slick Talk only posts, he only posts on YouTube when it's something that is controversial or when he can drag somebody. Without that, he can't post a video. There's not a single video Slick Talk can post if he's not being shading. And I've told you guys in the past, I do like Slick Talk, but I don't like it when he drags a woman to filth. Because he does. And I've been looking at his videos 
when this came up, I was looking at the videos. It's all about dragging women over and over again. And over again. It's not just slick talk. A lot of people that come and say, oh my gosh, when I'm telling you so old, you've ended. Oh, look at you now. And so what? She's 33 years old. Okay, I'm 30 years old. And damn, I don't look anywhere close to that type of situation. But we age. Everybody ages. What the hell is Ms. Lai Namase actually doing? If it is that she is trying to throw shade to Bonam, there's a possibility that they are in cahoots. You know how celebrities do? They want to trend. They want to be on the blogs. They want people to talk about them for them to stay relevant. Bonam hasn't been relevant for a very long time. She became relevant again when she sued Rhea. Rhea didn't go to court. And I, I know exactly why Rhea didn't go to court. But I won't mention it in this video. Right? When she won the case against him. Let's face it, guys. Bonang Mateba has been going through a lot of things behind the scenes. Some things that we would speculate and think, oh my gosh, this, this is rough or whatever. But some things we don't know about. You know? With the house of BNG, of which she thought was her baby baby. But maybe she didn't read the fine print type of situation. She was trending when she won the case against Rhea. But let me tell you something about people that sue people and don't try to resolve matters amicably or behind the scenes or through mediation type of things like that. They will sue you, but somebody's coming around to sue them back. It's common. And one thing I told you guys is that in 2022, a lot of things are going to be revealed. I told you guys in 2020, it was awakening season type of situation. 2020 vision where you could see things as clear as they are even if they are being hidden and in 2022 what did i say as when the year began a lot of things are going to be exposed a lot of things are going to come to the light and i didn't just say that because i was just saying that i told you guys a lot of things are going to come to light a lot of things are coming to light and there's a fact and i said it i don't expect you guys to believe me but the fact of the matter is Dun, dun, dun. You know what I mean? I'm very disappointed in Mithlai Ndamase. If I'm not mistaken, Mithlai Ndamase hasn't reached her 30s. But now Mateva is 33. And yes, there is some comparison between the two. When we all age, that's the thing. We all age. You know, I get a lot of people on my Instagram saying, oh my gosh, you actually look like you're 18. You look, you look younger than you're 30. No ways. You know, you, you, got kid, you got two kids and one on the way. No ways. Not everybody ages the same. But now, corner, not everybody is ingesting the same things that other people are ingesting. Type of situation. As soon as these shady pictures of Dorothy... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that is Bonang Mateva's legal name on a birth certificate, Dorothy. It's funny. <laughs> when I be watching this, it's funny, bro. Your slave name is fun. Dorothy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> when these things started coming out, first of all, the whole real thing saying that Bonang Mateva is taking substances that are illegal, Da, 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 you know, right? But it wasn't the first time that we've heard of that situation. And then, and I'm not saying that Bolang is doing that. I'm not saying that. She didn't tell me. Bolang and I are not close friends. She wouldn't tell me. But if you want to, Bolang, you can tell me. Okay. If you want to keep it a secret, I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> I will. Honestly, if somebody says to me, this is a secret, it's a secret. I don't talk about it, right? But I've seen in the months leading up to this situation, well, now Mateo's physique has changed. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, you <laughs> sexy nigga! <laughs> yes, she 
won the case against Rhea, but it's because Rhea didn't show up. Right? He didn't go there to defend himself. Right? I don't know what the situation is. So I'm not going to say I believe that Bonang is on substances and stuff like that. Maybe she's getting older and that's why she looks the way she looks. But even so, the picture wasn't that bad. It wasn't, it just wasn't edited. It wasn't edited. That's it. Um, I've seen many other pictures on Instagram of Bonang Mateba. And she looks very frail. Very, like, weak. There was even a video where she was sitting with people. And she just looked, did not look like... She had the same Bonang Mateba energy, but she just wasn't in her body, bruh. She, she really wasn't. Happy Valentine's Day, you sexy mother. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> and then it comes out, the whole BNG situation. And then she says she's been going through a lot in the past year or two. To the point where she's even suing. Oh, she was dragging that guy that she apparent, that apparently allegedly scammed her and her business and what have you. Now he's suing her. If you sue, you're going to be sued. It's karma. And I want people to understand that right now in 2022, things are quickening. A lot of people won't understand. If you guys want a lot of spiritual videos, let me know. I will hook you up. But a lot of things are quickening. So whatever you do, your karma is coming back very fast. Very fast. It is. That's how it works. Things are quickening. We are in the time of the Android. I don't know if people actually do their homework. That's the thing about people. They like to say, oh, it's a conspiracy theory. Someone even said that my channel, my, my first, my very first channel failed because I'm a failure. It failed because I was talking about these type of things. I'm not the only one who had a first channel that was taken down. My channel was taken down because I was speaking about a lot of controversial things which affect society in every single body. I was talking about the thing, you know, the one with, that makes me go this way, makes people zombies. And the things I was saying then, you won't find them now online because it's gone, right? Are happening. If you actually don't just live on mainstream media, then you would know about these things. You would know about these things. Right? And I've said in the past couple of videos that I did about her, I don't want these three things to be true about her. I like her. And I like her because she's a pretty girl. Let's just face it. That's the reason why I like her. I don't know her. I don't know any other scandals of her except from men scandals type of situation. But I like her because she's cute. And seems outspoken and all these things. But when you when you do things like this, we already know that Madame Mateva doesn't want to be seen without makeup. AKA said it. I've never seen her without makeup or her weave, or without her weave, at least let me put it that way. She doesn't want to be seen without her stuff that make her look gorgeous. But every day, when I was an ugly girl, she's an okay girl that has things. And let's face it, a lot of women want to emulate the Bonang look. A lot of women look like Bonang. Nobody is authentic. I'll use an example of myself. I'm different. And I'm not different because I want to I, I, I want to be a pick me girl. I want to no. You're not gonna find a lot of people like me splashed all over the internet or on mainstream with our colorful hair, extreme lashes, colors, colors it's like ah don't do it. You know what I mean? What you find is the pronoun package. A woman coming up after her, even Michelle and Damase, want to be like Bona. They do. Michelle and Damase is not always going to look cute and all these things and beautiful. If it was her intention to drag Bona for looking shady in a picture, she's not always going to look cute and beautiful. You're gonna change. We change. We grow. We grow older. We grow older. 
Bonang Mateva has solidified her place in this industry through her hard work. And that's on period. We don't know what happened. No scandals have come up of Bonang doing shady things. Older men, rich men behind the scenes. We don't know about those things. If they, they or sleeping with producers or whatever. We don't know about those things. We, know, we just know that she worked hard to get to where she was. So why must we now change that narrative? Because she's getting older. So what? She's getting older. People get older type of situation. She's still beautiful. She is. But now it does look very frail now. She looks she looks like she's on the side of unhealthiness. It doesn't it doesn't look good anymore. I saw a few pictures of her and I was like, hmm. I was flabbergasted. Like what the hell is actually going on with Bonang? You know when you get older, you want to have a bit of meat on your face, especially on your face. You you don't want to look chiseled like that. No. You want to have a bit of meat on your face. When you have a bit of meat on your face, you look youthful. So I cannot say that, oh, Bonang is trying to look chiseled because she wants to fit into that Hollywood thing. I don't know what's going on with her, but she lost a lot of weight. It doesn't look nice. It's never going to look nice for anyone if you don't have a bit of, you know, plumpness, liveliness in your face. And that's why I was saying in the beginning of this video, it reminded me of Rhea and his statements. Not to say that those statements were true. However, Rhea didn't show up to court to defend herself with any witnesses or evidence. So, <laughs> we're not going to one that case on default type of situation. All right? I feel bad for Bonang. I really do. She's going through the whole PNG dramas. I mean, Bonang worked so hard for so many years. Put some respect on her name. Don't turn your back on her because she's getting older. And some little ditzy, pretty privileged little girl decided to post the picture. It doesn't freaking matter. Mikhail Namase, you'll get old one day. You will get old one day. That's a fact. As a matter of fact, isn't Mikhail Namase the same person that came out onto the internet with some Botox in her lips? Has anybody heard anything about um, Bonang having surgery? And if she has had surgery, it's been very subtle that you can hardly really pick at it. With Mkhlai Namase, we could literally see that, girl, you are not happy with your appearance. You went to get injections on your lips. You told us about the fact that it, it was botched. And you looked like a freaking bullfish. Like that. And you had the nerves to come for Bonang Mateba. If that was the situation. Then you lost that 12 kg very mysteriously after disappearing from the internet nobody knows and we saw you in the in in, in miss xo's comments congratulating her and applauding her for her bbl we don't know if that's what you did too we cannot trust you at this point Missali the massive i was really really rooting for you but to do this whole pretty gold privileged nonsense that you are doing it's very disgusting. I don't understand why you would do that. Everybody already knows that you were dating that married man. We got over it. The shit and the shame was off of your back. But now, to come for Bonang... Like I said, I don't know if... Maybe, maybe Bonang and Michali are in on it together. But it doesn't really seem that way. I don't know. Maybe Michali now I say, is throwing shade at Bonang. I would really hope that that is not the case. Because if it is, everything I just said applies. You're being shady and it sucks.